Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. I'm just sitting here preparing myself to be disappointed. Will this special once a year release live up to the greatness of last year? Dun dun dun. Remus Repeal Reserve number six. This bourbon here has probably one of the biggest shoes to fill from the 2021 release of that. Uh, Remus Repeal Reserve 5 was phenomenal. Now, it didn't make my top 10 of 2021 last year because I didn't receive a bottle of it until 2022. I know, I know. Not sold in PA uh, in 2021. They did not sell that here. Never came to Pennsylvania. Got one through a buddy out of New Jersey somewhere or somewhere else. Um, this year, though, PA started carrying the Remus Repeal series. Hallelujah! But then we come to find out there's much younger whiskey in here this year. So for a quick recap, number five, which I've enjoyed sparingly because obviously you can't find it anymore. 100 proof, which is... 50% alcohol by volume. This is from MGP. It's the house brand of MGP. Uh, this is their once a year release. So, I mean, man, if I did a video on the five by itself, I'll link it above. I don't remember if I actually did. I've done so many videos now. So last year, the majority of the bourbon in there last year was from 2008. Okay? In fact, 67% of it was from 2008 and like another 25 was from 2006. So this was like a 13 to 15 year old bourbon and then there was some there was some 05 in there even. So this bourbon was pretty old, okay? Uh pretty well regarded. I loved it. This year They give us a six. Everyone's hyped. Man, I can't wait for the release next year. How are they going to top number five? And then we look at the stats on the bottle, and it's 2014? What? It's like eight years old. What the heck's going on? And then, oh, oh, thankfully, there's some 2012 in here, a 10-year. It's like, and then 2% of a 2008. I mean, could we get any more disappointed just on looking at the stats here, they real this is a, it's basically an eight to ten year bourbon, uh, and that's what it is, right? So call it nine versus last year was roughly fourteen, fifteen years old if you want to add it all together. Um, so not quite half, but significantly younger. And last year the MSRP was eighty doll hairs. This year a hundred. So not only did MGP cut you off at the knees in terms of age. They went and ripped another $20 hair bill right out of your pocket for this year's release. Uh, almost the biggest money grab I've seen this year, but, but, Little Book Chapter 6 stole that crown off anybody. Alright, so, the number 6 here is in the blue glass. I'm going to give you my opinions. Is it worth a buy? Have not tasted it yet. Big shout out to my buddy Kevin, who grabbed the 6 from PA's online drop this year. And we're just so lucky he gave me the bottle to do a tasting for you with the promise I don't drink at all, right? So, you got it, Kevin. I won't drink at all. So, number six on the nose. Let's go. Well, all right. It's pretty good in the nose. I get some oak, some fruits. Kind of red fruity with with some oak in there. I'm not uh, I'm not feeling too bad. I mean, you know, eight to ten year. I'm, I was being harsh because of how good five was. And you know, some people say you can't compare it to five. Of course you can. That was the previous release. Um, it's got some oak to it. It's got some fruits. It's not super complex. Just a little bit of fruit and a little bit of oak. Not, not over oaked. You know, not super fruity. Just kind of middle of the road there. Let's give it a sip. All right. 
It's not bad. It's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I get a little bit of the fruit and a little bit of the yolk and some caramel. And then it's like I put like an Alka-Seltzer tab in my tongue. It's very like fizzy. Without being carbonated, there's like a fizzling sensation across the tongue with this. Not bad at all, I will say. It's certainly not bad. Tastes pretty good. Let's take a second sip here. I, you know, it drinks like 110 proof. I, so this is a, these are all, these are both 100 proof, 50% alcohol by volume. This one drinks hot. It has like that, like that fizzling sensation on the tongue. Feels like it's 110. Uh, this is good. Is it complex and super interesting? No. Uh, is it a good, easy drink and pour? Yes. I will say it's yes. What grade would I give this? Um, probably give it a B. It's good. The price is high, though. I mean, but where else are you getting really 8 to 10 year MGP? You know, most non-distilling producers are producing, you know, 5, 6 year MGP, but it casts strength. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. We're, it's not as disappointing as I thought. Alright, in the red back here, we have the King, the Capitone. Remus Reserve 5 from last year. Let's give it a nosing. Oh, sweet heavens. I mean, what a just crescendo of oak. There is some fruitiness on there, but it's like it's basically sweet oak. I almost get, I, you know what I get on this? I get that like hint of orange marmalade, which I get on high age bourbons, namely like Knob Creek 18, um, Calumet 16 sometimes. It just... Real, real high age bourbons to me that have a lot of oak presence, which I like, tend to come off a little orange marmalade to me, and this has it on the nose. Just tons of sweet oak. I mean, this this smells like it's easily $150 here, where this one smelled 70 maybe, 60 80 even. 80 even, the old price. All right, let's take a sip of Remus Repeal Reserve 5. Beautiful crescendo of sweet oak and caramels, a little bit of vanilla, tiny bit of red fruit on the back of this. Fantastic. This drink's like $150. That does not. Five crushes six. Now, five was the fifth anniversary. Did they say that in the bottle? No. Did they say it was going to be a special release? No. Um, so take that for what you will. Perhaps they thought. They would do something special for five, but didn't tell the consumers. Not sure. Uh, five was killer. If you can find five, snag it. Whatever it costs, probably. As long as it's less than $150, five is a bargain hitter. Uh, six here, it's good, but, you know, if you miss it this year, no problem. Don't, don't worry about it. You're, you're not missing out. It's not like five. You know, we got we to gotta go try my old standby, Knob Creek 12. All right, we got the old Knob Creek 12 here. 60 doll hairs in PA. Maybe 70, 75 where you are. Cheaper than Remus Repeal Reserve 6. Grab a Glen here. Also 100 proof with a 12 year age statement. Look at that for 60 bucks. Knob Creek bringing the value. Give it a quick swirl and a nosing. Oh, already, already I can tell you this, Knob Creek's going to beat it. Let's take a sip. There it is. Um, Knob Creek 12 absolutely crushes Remus Repeal Reserve 6. So if you have the itch to pick up the 6, go spend $40 less and buy Knob Creek 12 and you're going to be far better off uh, in your drinking enjoyment. The five is still fantastic and, and the best of the night, but again, that was last year's release. The six, you know, I gave it a B, but crap, I'm thinking about I'm. You know what? It's been reduced. It's a C. It's a C. It's a average bourbon that's too highly priced. We've seen that quite a bit this year in 2022. It's about forty to fifty dollars overpriced. I'm sorry to say, Knob Creek 12 smokes it at only sixty here in PA. 
versus a hundred. Mm. I would say it's a do not buy or it's a try to bar. Or if you need to have the series, go ahead and burn some cash on it. If you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Have a great evening, everybody.